and my wife, we've been having some uh, sexual problems. I guess it's because I have been under a lot of stress and maybe I do harbor some misplaced anger, but you know, I, I think most guys do go through this. Am I right, fellas? <laughs> this ain't the Oprah Winfrey show? <laughs> Excuse me. You know who I am. <laughs> Hi, girl. I'm Benita Betrell. I've been here all my life. I know everybody in this neighborhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, girl, there's some fine people in this neighborhood. There's a lot of trash, too. But I ain't one to gossip. <laughs> hey, there goes Mavis and her kids. Mavis! Hey! I see you got the whole gang out there today, huh? Them kids look like a pack of rag buckets. <laughs> You gotta wrap them up in newspaper to take them to Sunday school. Mm -mm -mm. You see that little one down there? That little one? No, uh, the one down there with the snot in his nose. Mm -hmm. That's my little godson, Chucky. Hey, Chucky! Hey, Chuckster! Hey, Chucky, what you do there? You gonna give your godmother a kiss? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a little crack addict in the making there. <laughs> Give me, loan me, can you spare? Every time you turn around, neither one of them would ever say, here, dog, here's a bone. <laughs> now, the mama, every time I open my door, she's hanging out there with a cup. She needs some flour. She needs some bread. She needs some eggs. She needs to take her ass to the supermarket. That's what she needs. <laughs> Girl, I just don't understand people like that. See, because I'm trying to better myself. And that's right. I'm enrolled in the Robert Fionn School of Beauty and the Ace Truck Driving School. <laughs> so I'm going to have something, you see. They go my homegirl, Gretchen. Hey, Gretchen! Hey, girl! I'm scared of you. You look good. Love what you did with your hair. <laughs> Shake it, but don't break it. But if you do, save chocolate piece. <laughs> that fool went and spent the baby's diaper money to get her weave tightened. <laughs> girl, the baby was hollering like a banshee all night. I'm telling you, I'm glad I ain't got to worry about that. Because I got me some Cherokee on my mama's side. See, so hair ain't no luxury item in my family. Matter of fact, when I was a girl, my hair was long and straight and black and thick. They used to call me Pocahontas. <laughs> yeah. Then one day I was heating up some ham hocks and my ponytail caught on fire. And I <laughs> Just don't understand. Huh? Oh, 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 him. That's Mr. Washington down there. Yeah, he's like a father to me. You looking mighty spry today. Got some spring in your step. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you'd have some spring in your step, too, if you were sleeping with the preacher's 22-year-old daughter. <laughs> yeah, poor Mrs. Washington, she don't know what to do with herself. All she do is sit around eating the government cheese and passing gas all day. <laughs> Girl, stomach done blown up so big, look like she got food poisoning or something. <laughs> mm -mm, it's a trip. But I ain't one to gossip, so if anyone asks you, you ain't heard it from me. No, you haven't. Oh, oh, you got it. Look, there goes Miss Jenkins right there. Mm-hmm, that's good old Mrs. Jenkins, honey. I dare somebody say something bad about Mrs. Jenkins. <laughs> Don't nobody better say nothing bad about Mrs. Jenkins, because I'll go crazy. That, that's when I'll lose it. Mrs. <laughs> Jenkins is a sterling example of a human being. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Hey, Miss Jenkins! <clears throat> she is something else, honey. Just don't let her take her shoes off in your apartment. Feet smell like a dill pickle. <laughs> Yeah, there's some nice people in this neighborhood. There's some fine folks. You're going to like it just fine. You just do me a favor. You stay away from nosy, gossiping hens, and you'll be okay. All right, I got to go now. Home Shopping Club's coming on. See you later. <laughs> 